Hey, Wes here, Airstream Wanderings. Thanks for joining me today. This morning, my wife and I uh, drove up on some Forest Service roads to collect some clay. And it turns out that the roads were pretty muddy and uh, my truck collected clay too. So the idea is, can we collect some of this from the truck and turn it into pottery? It'll just be kind of a fun experiment. Let's see what happens. This actually looks like kind of decent play. It'll be fun to see what happens. Spoiler alert, if you are expecting to have a nice pot at the end of this uh, video, it's not going to happen. It didn't work out. However, uh, when things don't work out, sometimes we learn the most. And what you will see is a step-by-step -step uh, explanation of how to levigate and learn some things along the way about turning mud into clay. This is the stuff that came off the bottom of the truck and I think there's clay in here but there's a bunch of other junk too. Sand and pebbles and dirt, I don't know what all. So in this form we cannot make a pot. What I need to do is turn this into separate the clay from everything else so I'm going to do that through levigation. Step one is to fully hydrate this stuff. This has all been sitting here for a couple of hours and it's uh, all hydrated. So all we need to do now is stir it up real good. The deal with clay is that the particles are very, very small, smaller than sand or a regular kind of dirt. And so if you stir it up, the clay will get suspended in the water. Everything else is heavier and will settle down to the bottom. It's kind of messy. There's easier ways to do this. And we just pour it off. And you just have to make sure that you don't pour off all the, the dirt and the sand and the rocks. And then we'll let this settle out. We'll come back here in a little bit. You can see here, this is kind of what's getting down to the bottom, just mostly gravel and sand. These buckets have had a chance to settle up for an hour or so, and now I'm gonna pour uh, them back into the original bucket. And uh, you'll see how the water is reasonably clear at this point. I think we've gotten all of the clay out of this that we can get. So in here, the clay is at the bottom, it's all settled out and it should just be clear water. So we'll get rid of this and then we're ready to dry the clay. what we end up with. It feels like clay. Whether it'll make anything or not, I don't know. This is what we have left over from the original bucket. It's basically all sand. All the, I think most of the clay is out of it. Um, but what I can do is dry this out and then use it as temper for the clay. 
let me show you what I ended up with. <clears throat> this is all the stuff that was left over. Uh, fairly heavy gravel and then some fine sand. And I just used a sieve to separate the two. And actually this sand I think would probably work okay for temper. Okay, here is the uh, very fine particles that came out of it that were separated from the sand and the gravel. And this looks like clay. It actually kind of feels like clay. But what I did is I dried it out. And this is what it happens, what it looks like when it's all dried out. And as you can see, it's very crumbly. Uh, turns out that this is just a very, very fine sand. Uh, super fine. And no big surprise, this was from a roadway. It had been driven over multiple times with trucks and cars and whatnot. And there is some clay in this, but very little and not nearly enough to make pottery from. What this shows me is that levigation does a great job of separating the fine stuff from the coarse stuff. If there would have been clay in this material, I would have been able to get it out. Uh, however, we also find that not all clay is the same. Uh, some things work, some things don't. I have clay at home that has just all kinds of gravel and sand in it. But when I get that separated out, the clay works really well. In this case, we found out that it doesn't. And there's some clay that is so pure that there's no need to levigate it. Uh, just grind it up and use it. It's ready to go. So every material is going to be different. And sometimes you just have to experiment with it uh, to see what you end up with and whether it's workable or not. You never know. Maybe next time you'll find the perfect clay. One way or another, we know now how levigation works and we can use it to our best advantage in the future. Thanks for watching today. Appreciate it. I always enjoy those thumbs up and the comments that you give and subscriptions, of course. And so until next time, this is Wes with Airstream Wanderings, wishing you health, happiness, peace, and love. Take care. Bye-bye.